today I'm going to show you how to create this rip paper effect and if you need any images go to slcollage.com for the best vintage and retro images. Today we're working with this like hillside nature image and this city modern landscape image. So we're going to go ahead with the pen tool and draw our rip paper outline. Just some rough pen points across the image that will be our outline for the rip paper. And we'll go ahead and connect that. Then we'll select both the outline and the front image and we'll right click and make a clipping mask. And then inside of that clipping mask, we will select just the outline and copy and paste in front. And then we'll pull that out of that layer, that clipping group, and that will be our paper. And we'll just position it up a little bit, add some white paper color, and then we'll take that layer and we'll put it in between the front image and the back image, and bam, you have your rip paper outline. Now we'll double click the pencil tool and make sure the fidelity is that accurate to get some rough edges and we'll open up this clipping group and select just the outline and we'll use the pencil tool to draw some rough and ripped edges connecting it back to the original outline. And we'll do the same for the paper layer, just some rough rip lines to make it seem more organic. And we're going to go and select the paper layer and go to effect and go to texture and add grain. And then we'll adjust the grain type to horizontal. And we'll play with the intensity and contrast until we get something we like. For this, I'm going to stick with 55 for both. All right, we're going to go ahead and copy this paper layer. And then we're going to go to the appearance settings and remove the grain for the copy. Bring the copy below the regular layer and I'll name these so you can see shadow layer, paper layer, we have our front image and our background image. And the shadow is positioned a little forward above the paper layer and we'll add some gray color to the shadow layer, go to effect. Go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and adjust that to what we like, say about 25 or so. And then we'll move the shadow layer just a little closer down to the paper layer. And bam, that's it. That's your essentially your rip paper effect. And this works without needing any textures or extra files. Everything can be done straight from Illustrator.